that there were no more contractions. So I was like, all right, I can chill for a little bit. Just overall pretty cool. I mean, pretty cool. So you have, this is the fourth. Fourth. I have three boys. This is the girl. Two and, oh, yeah, um, they're 14, 11, and 5. Two of them born in a car, two of them born at home. Two of them born on the same day. Today is my middle son's birthday. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, two are born at home? Not at two home. Two are born in the, in the car. Two, and two in, in the, the car, hospital. two in the hospital. Is there a jealousy like, hey, I wanted to be born? I know, no, no. No. <laughs> and which ones are the same day now? Um, the 11 year old, his birthday is today and her right. birthday is today. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Have the kids seen her yet? No, not yet. Oh. And you will live in Wesley Chapel? Yes. And you said it was like how far from your house when you actually gave for um, an hour, I mean a mile? Oh, yeah. We were like two miles from the house when I gave, when I just pushed. I was just like, all right, just give me a heads up. My water broke. Next one I'm pushing. So there's, there was no way to get here earlier, I guess. No. Wow. Yeah, even if I left at 6, I don't know yeah. what traffic would have been like. But that would have been my first contraction, too, leaving right, at right, 6. Right. Were you by yourself in the back seat? Did you do yes. this all by yourself? Because the first time I was in the front seat, and that was very uncomfortable, and I couldn't, like, hold him. <laughs> um, I wore pants. That was a big thing. So, like, my pants caught both of them. So, um, a, a, a pro, a veteran of getting work <laughs> in the car, it seems like. Yeah, when you have speedy labors, you got to be prepared for anything. It's got to be kind of unnerving in a sense to have her in the car and you're not at the hospital yet and so on and so forth, but then do you have that moment when you can look into her eyes and yeah. tell me about that? As soon as she cries, I'm good because then, you know, I'm here. And I, she did a prize in the car. I wanted to see if she would latch, but she wasn't there yet. And then I was worried about the umbilical cord, so I just kind of kept her low. What were you saying to her in the car? I was like, it's okay, little bitty. Okay, we'll get there. Just rock her. She was fine. She cried a little, and then she was like, all right. Dressed as she was, obviously. Yeah. This one. <laughs> <laughs> he was more stressed. Did you have a name picked out ahead of time? I mean, when she's delivered, do you know, or is it just this is your baby and you're trying to yeah, think of it? Yeah, we didn't have a name picked out ahead of time. We had a couple that we were floating, but. Do you think that experience helped you pick one? Um, I let Dad do the picking, so maybe did it. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, successful. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nyla uh, means successful. Is there anything else? Uh, anything else you want to say that we didn't ask you? Anything else you want to mention? Mm. How does it feel now that you're sitting here? You have your beautiful little baby. What's going through your head? Sleep. <laughs> we'll I'm exhausted. Right <laughs> President of the United States there? Yeah. Maybe not the ex-president, I'm sorry. <laughs> future president future. of the United States hanging out there. She's ready to go. Right. When are her uh, brothers going to get a chance to meet her? After school. Oh, okay. Hopefully so in a few hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, quarter after four now, so they're gonna, <laughs> I'm sure they're excited too. Yes. I'm very excited. They said 48 hours, so. What time roughly did you have? I'm sorry, you probably said this. What time did you think you actually came for? Around 7.15. In the morning? Mm -hmm. Now, is that an outfit they had, or is that your outfit? This is our outfit. <laughs> I love the outfit. Thank you. That's part Total. of the, the process to leave, was we got to get the first outfit <laughs> get in the car, right? Yeah. A Nissan Rogue. Get a little bit of space in the backseat. Right yeah. 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 Both are the Nissan Rogue. Oh, I already did. Yeah. Was it the, was it the exact same car or like a newer? Rogue? I traded it in. Rogue. I know. <laughs> Messed up too. <laughs> <laughs> they really could. That's
That's for hilarious. Great for giving birth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah front <laughs> seat and back seat. <laughs> Prefer the back seat. It's more space. <laughs> Well, her middle name could be Nissan. Yeah. Or Rogue. Or Rogue. If, if they give you a call. Names <laughs> <laughs> now. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Actually, you should. You guys should talk to them. Yeah. See, if you've given birth two times in Nissan Rogue. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. Yeah. That'd be a hilarious commercial. They would probably jump all over that. Yeah. Yeah. Might get a brand new vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> So pretty. <laughs> All right, so this whole thing I thought you delivered in the front of the um, of the car. Oh. Yeah. Um, Not funny. No. <laughs> No, we had her like in Leslie Chapel and I just wow. held her. Yeah. Thanks for coming here. Yeah. He was like, where do I go? And I'm like, the hospital that we're planning. <laughs> He's like, emergency room? I'm like, no. No emergency room. Well, you are the calmest dad, I will tell you. You may not have felt like it inside, but you're <laughs> coming in. Yeah, it's like, no, just, we'll make it, we'll be fine. She's crying, we're fine. Yeah. Oh. so we don't have to run it up for sure. Look at you guys. Uh, uh, you look at Josh. Oh, okay. Right, I'm good. good. You okay with that lighting? Uh, if you could. Actually, is it possible to close the thing behind you? Is that a cloud shade? Yeah, it is. Over here. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Oh, yeah. That's great. You got like sunlight blasting the back of your head. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Are you all done? Already matter. Okay. Same spell your first last name for us. Uh, first name Nathaniel, last name Knox. Thank you so oh, spell it. Um, N A T H A N I A L. Um, last name K N O A. You are the dad. Give us uh, your thoughts of uh, your baby girl today. Well, I'm I'm relieved that she's you know doing fine. Um, but you know the whole time like. Because uh, when she woke up, like, early this morning at 6 o'clock, um, you know, we thought we had time. But obviously we didn't. And, um, you know, she, I, I just kept asking her because I was the one doing the check-in on the minutes. And she was like, no, no, we're okay, we're okay. And then finally, you know, she burst out and she was like, um, she said, oh, we need to go, we need to go. And so I just started trying to get the boys ready because, you know, nobody, no one was there. So I was like, well, I need to hurry up and get them, hurry up and get them. So I got them dressed in like five minutes. 
which is not usual uh, <laughs> because they usually take about 30 minutes to an hour. But I was able to get them up, and then the boys, uh, the youngest one, um, because the older two were still upstairs, the youngest one screamed out, we need to hurry up, we need to hurry up, mom is going to have the baby. And so, uh, you know, we just all hurried up, and then we got uh, like a neighbor to come over and watch him um, while, we, while we left because we figured we wouldn't be able to drop him off at school. And so we just, you know, got in the car, drove off, and I'm thinking to myself, I hope this don't happen again in the car because, uh, you know, she was just like, you know, like, in, it seemed like she was in a whole lot of pain. And so, and then she was like, uh, you know, like, kind of like crouched over in the car and her back was touching the ceiling of the car. And so I was just, <laughs> you know, I was going, yeah, in my mind, I'm going crazy. I'm like, ah. Oh. And then, like, when she said, when we got by the uh, Nissan dealership in Wesley Chapel, um, she said, oh, my water just broke. And then when, when I heard that, I was like, oh, man. And she was like, oh, she was like, next push, I, I'm just going to push. And then when she did that, next push, she came out. And you heard, I mean, you heard, like, just water just fall out and the baby fell out right with it right into the the spandex and uh, man it was it was it was crazy it was you know it's going to be a good story to tell but oh man and then you know I was fine once she got her up and she was holding her you know what I mean and she looked she looked more safe then but you know I started thinking about all of the other stuff that can happen you know the germs and stuff like that because she just came out and so I didn't really know what to do so I was calling everybody to figure out what could I do called I called the doctor um, her voice uh, her vo it went to voicemail I called the uh, 911 they uh, plugged me into a doctor yeah I did a lot I did a lot of stuff called my mother-in-law called my father-in-law um, but by the time I got the call back from the doctor, we were pulling up to the, to the, uh, uh, the front of the what is it, Florida uh, hospital. And uh, I, I didn't even know what to say when I walked in. I was like, my wife is in the bed, and, and she just had the baby, and she's sitting in the car. And they was like, don't worry, just be calm, and we're, we're going to handle it. And I'm like, oh, man. And I, then all these people came out, like she said, and... There's about 20 of them, and then, uh, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm like, w you know, asking them, what can I do? What, what is it that I can do? And then, you know, of course, they did their thing and, you know, got everything took care of and uh, brought on up. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy, man, you know, because my mom had five boys and no girls. And so this is my first girl, so it's a blessing for me. You're driving down the road and you're in traffic and you're stressing out about everything and then yeah. you hear the baby cry. I mean, does that like drown out the other noise or? No, when I heard her cry, it made it it made me feel some kind of sense of you know maybe she's okay. And then when she pulled her up and put her up against her, then I knew that she was okay. Um, but it's interesting because afterwards, like I didn't think about the mess until afterwards. <laughs> When, you know, I thought about, dang, okay, who's going to clean this up? Yeah, because, you know, I, I had to clean up the last one. I usually clean up the car cause I, <laughs> because I do mobile detailing. So. But this is a little more than you bargained for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But I still went home, cleaned it up, and, um, you know, now I'm back here. And now i got to go out again and get the boys now so they can see it. So You can send her a bill. <laughs> How, how does it make you feel when you look at that little baby? It makes me feel like I want to do better. You know what I mean? Make, you know, provide a better way for it. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, just do, be, be, a, be a good father, pretty much, you know. Mold her and protect her. Thanks so Thank much. you. Thank you. Oh, no problem. I have nothing but daughters. Daughters are... <laughs> I think boys yeah. are easier. <laughs> <laughs> they are too, man. It's interesting. Well, what you're worried about with girls is boys. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's you're worried about right. boys and other boys, right? Yeah. yeah. My biggest fear is having daughters. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good thing.
youngest was born here at this hospital. Oh, wow. Ten years ago. Wow. They grow up like you know. <laughs> Is there any way, you, did you say you had a, could we get like a family photo? I do. And if she had one? My grandma, I do. Oh. <laughs> it's exciting date for you. I don't need an interview, but picture, take picture. Yep. Oh, I got it. It's not very clean. It's all right. Do you, oh, that's. Yeah, there's a couple like of different ones. like airdrop that or something? What does airdrop mean? I just took a picture of it. <laughs> I can just get a picture of it. Can you lean it towards me? Up. You're not getting me, right? Yeah. No. Can you get out of the glare? Oh, yeah. Did you guys take any pictures of you in the car today? No. <laughs> That's because I, I wasn't in They didn't take all those selfies. Yeah. I was thinking, man. Thank you. On the way home to go clean, I was like, I should have a GoPro. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Facebook Live. Send it to this phone?